I have often wondered how one man, seeing another man a fool when he devotes his attentions and behaviors to love, and after having laughed at such shallow follies in others, will then turn and become the argument of his own scorn by falling in love. And such a man is Claudio. I have known him when there was no music in him, but the drum and the fife. And now had he rather hear the tabor and the pipe. I've known him when he would have walked ten mile, a foot, to see a good armor. Now will he lie ten nights awake, carving the fashion of a new doublet. He was wont to speak plain and to the purpose, like an honest man and a soldier. And now he's turned orthography. His words are a very fantastical banquet, just so many strange dishes. May I be so converted and see with these eyes? I cannot tell. I think not. I may not be sworn, but love may transform me to an oyster, but till he hath made such an oyster of me, he shall never make me such a fool. One woman is fair, yet I am well. Another is virtuous, yet I am well. Another is wise, yet I am well. But till all graces be in one woman, one woman shall not come into my grace. Rich she shall be, that is certain. Uh, wise or I'll not, virtuous or I'll never cheapen her, fair or I'll never look on her, mild or come not near me, Noble, or not I for an angel, of good discourse, an excellent musician, and her hair shall be. Uh, what color it please God? Hmm. Ah, it, it is the prince. And Monsieur Love. I will hide me in the arbor.